Good morning. It's Thursday, Throwback Thursday, February 7th. Welcome to the Sick News Network. Let's get right to the weather. Good morning and welcome to your weather. Looks like today could possibly be a minor storm, but it's Missouri. Anything could happen, so stay tuned. But Friday and Saturday looks sunny, but cold, so bring a jacket and enjoy the nice sunny weather. Starting Sunday in the beginning of next week, looks like we'll be more storms and more rain showers. Yay. That's all for your weather and now for your lunchtime meetings. So South Hall has early hall this week. Jared, what lunchtime meetings do we have today? Well, today, Stuco has a meeting, and tomorrow, FCA will be meeting in the choir room for FCA. We'd like to wish a happy Counselor's Week to Miss Hobbs. Thank you for all you do. There are not many home games left, and we have no one signed up for 50-50 for the remaining games. Let's get those dates filled. Janelle only has 17 people who qualify to go to Project Grad so far. Also, seniors, start turning in your Yeti raffle tickets to Janelle in the office as soon as possible. We will raffle off the Yeti cooler next Tuesday, February 12th, at the boys' home game. Also in the office, Janelle has balances that seniors still owe to Jostens. Please stop by and check on what you owe. Also, don't forget to get your senior picture and letter turned into Miss Miller as soon as possible. FCCLA members, sign up as soon as possible on Mrs. Linscott's door for the trip to the nursing home on February 8th. Don't miss out on these awesome service opportunities. See Mrs. Linscott if you have any questions. Students that wear a blue eye t-shirt will be admitted to free into all remaining home and boys and girls basketball games. For your upcoming dates, Monday, February 11th through the 15th, Tri Lakes Community Health Dental Clinic will be here. Tuesday, February 12th is a field trip to Tor Votech. And also Tuesday, February 12th, there's a Bulldog Pride Assembly. And then Friday, February 15th, there's no Votech. Now to your birthdays. Happy birthday to junior Skylar Stubbs and superstar Ashton Kutcher, who is well known for pl playing Kelso from that 70s show. Now to your sports. Now for your sports. Today, girls basketball game at Galena, JV Varsity Falling will be at 6 p.m. The bus will leave at 4.10. Tomorrow, February 8th, boys basketball game at Galena will be at 6 p.m. And the bus leaves at 4.10. Saturday, February 9th, the girls' basketball Ozark shootout will be at 12 p.m. and the bus will leave at 9.30 a.m. That's all for your sports, and now to Throwback Thursday. Welcome to this day in history, otherwise known as Throwback Thursday, and let's get right into it. Today is February 7th, so starting off for music, in 1985, the New York official anthem becomes New York, New York. For your filming history, in 1974, Mel Brooks filmed Blazing Saddles, opening theaters, and it starred Clevin Little and Gene Ryder. And finally, for sports history, in 2005, Ellen MacArthur becomes the fastest person to sail across the globe at a round and round days of being in 72 days. And now for your local news. For your local news, the Boys and Girls Club of the Ozarks celebrated the completion of a $50,000 renovation to its Forsyth unit with a re-grant opening ceremony in February. Due to a rapidly growing membership and the long overdue need for an upgrade, the grant money was put to work at the Forsyth location. The Boys and Girls Clubs of America is a national organization of local chapters which provide after-school programs for young people. Also in your local news, a man who showed a little girl kindness and compassion at the airport is being praised by thousands on social media. Kevin Armentrout snapped a photo of a man named Joseph Wright who took joy in entertaining his 16-month-year-old daughter, Carter Jean, while they all waited to board their plane. Armentrout later shared on Facebook his thoughts on the matter. Last night, while waiting to board our plane, Carter Jean was being her usual inquisitive self, wanting to meet and say hi to everyone she could, until she walked up on this man. He reached out and asked if she wanted to sit with him. He pulled out his tablet and showed her how to draw with it. They watched cartoons together, and she offered him snacks. This wasn't a short little exchange. This was 45 minutes. Watching them in that moment, I couldn't help but think different genders, different races, different generations, and the best of friends. This is the world I want for her. The post has over 300,000 likes and about 120,000 shares. That's all for your local news. Now to your host. That's all for your sick news. My name's Jared. And I'm Chris. This, is, has, this has been your news of the Z. For your random fact of the day, penguins can jump as high as six feet into the air. 